Hey family, and thank you for coming to our channel that you co-host with me. I'm Deb Chanel of 40's World. Well, let me go back. Deb Chanel 40's World featuring the Family Affair. Yes, you guys, you ladies and gentlemen, ah, you are my co-host, okay? And we get down and we talk about serious subjects sometimes. And then most of the time we just be talking about rumor shit that we don't know if it's true or not. But we want to have a little kiki about it and talk about it, all right? And put our own ideas or ideologies, speculations on them. Okay, again, we don't know if it's true, but it's just like we come into the house, like having a house party. Some parts of the house are playing cards, spades, and whatnot. Some just, you know, chapping it up in their own little corner, gossiping about other people probably, or social events. I don't know. Then we got the ones that just take up the whole room and we just sitting up there dancing partying drinking having a good old time and then you got the ones that just tired they just want to sit and chill you know hear some relaxing music have some mindless conversation and that's why i come in it you know what i'm saying i can dance a little bit do a little two-step here and there get in the groove get me a little cocktail and sit my ass down somewhere and just catch up on the day-to-day -day stuff you know what i'm saying whether we talking about entertainers and their um scent oh we call it scandalous salacious stories that we don't know if it's true or not but it's just good to talk about okay or have an opinion on it all right uh, and then, you know, we might be talking about our jobs or whatnot. It's just, you know, mindless uh, banter and jitter-jatter, chitter-chatter around him. Okay, so I, I just came across this on my uh, social media feed. Don't know if it's true or not, but you know, we don't care. <laughs> we don't care if it's true or not. We just putting our own speculations and our own opinions on what we heard. You know what I'm saying? So... There's a little rumor going out there, and Urban Bell is putting it on their platform. And I've never really heard anything bad about them with them spreading lies and, and rumors and all this stuff. But, you know, they're putting their own speculation on it. And usually when they're talking about celebrities and they know they can have litigation put their way, they try to get shit and facts correct, okay? So I want to say they're true to form. It may be some truth to it. You know how they are old adage go where there's smoke there's fire okay duck that flocks together well ducks that hang together flock together yeah y'all know what i'm talking about when you hang with certain folks you tend to get a situation where you're guilty by association okay but anyway i heard now just i'm saying i'm just hearing family now bear with me that uh cynthia bailey might be jumping ship and going over there with uh Garcia Bouvier over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, Beverly Hills. I'm sorry, Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I don't know why my brother called him. He always doing this shit. Hey, what you doing? Huh? What you doing? I'm taping. Oh, okay. I'll call back later. I'll call you back when I finish. Alright, bye. Bye. Let's see how it go. He go tip for tat. He calling me. Damn, he should have something to say. And I'm like, what you want, nigga? You know, I'm, okay, well, I wouldn't, shouldn't say that word. But I say, ego, okay, for the ones that get down and can say that to one another. Hell, it was given to us, and we just stuck with us and shit. So, you know, scratch out that part, okay? But anyway, he asking me a question with a question. Why, I, who do this shit around him? And then but your biological family and your YouTube family. I was talking shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, what you want? You know what I'm saying? You call me, all right? But anyway, I'll call that joke back later on. <sighs> but anyway, uh, we have a staff member over there at the Urban Bell Mag Magazine. They put out a little article. And the staff member was Anderson Niles. That's right, Mrs. or Miss. But I think it's Mrs. Amanda Anderson Niles. Let's give it up for her. She's writing that article. She must be a freelance um, columnist, journalist that writes out salacious stories. Sports Entertainment Gossip for Urban Bell Mad Magazine. Okay, all right. Okay, girl. But anyway, she titled her article, Cynthia Bailey Addresses Rumored Possibilities of Joining Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm like, girl, man, that's a nice platform to be on. Okay? A nice platform to be on. That's one Nene strives to be on, honey. She wants to be up there with the Vanderpumps. Yes, and all those high-stumping, rich, 
and probably passed down from generation to uh, generation old money. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, she's on that kind of platform, a possibility. I can see Cynthia all up in now. Yes, I can. And it would give her a brand new start to start over. Now, Cynthia, if it is true, girl, if you don't take advantage of this platform with uh, Garcella Bouvier, because she ain't come out like no punk. She came out real strong, okay? Very strong black woman, all right? But my point is, Cynthia, you get a chance to start over, and we don't see you in the light as the one they always jumping on or using or exploiting. You know, like they did you in Real Housewives of Atlanta. So, I think that's a wonderful idea for you to go on over there and be a full-time cast member. Girl, if they have it open, go on, take that slot and say goodbye to Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, leave Nene. So, she thinks she's the self-appointed head B.I.C. H.B.I.C. over there. Leave, leave her, honey. Same as Kenya. Leave her ass on over there, too. You know, because she wants to be ratchet and in the gutter with Nene sometimes, you know. Let her stay. You know, she, she, ain't, she ain't on that caliber either. See, you in that caliber all day long because you a little successful uh, model running around now. You can even help your daughter no way or so. I don't know. I might be turning a little bit closer to Mike. He may be pulling you out of what he called ratchetness tv because he said cynthia bailey was the only one that act appropriate okay so he, he just dogged the rest of y'all cast members out candy eva um who else we got portia tanya he didn't give a shit about none of y'all he just said cynthia was better than the rest of the women i'm like oh, okay okay oh, all right well okay and then we heard rumors that um, Cynthia was selling her house, okay? So it might be true, y'all. It might be true. She don't want to be a Southern Belle no more. And I can understand it, baby. You got your sister down here and you got your mama down here. So you can always come visit, honey. But no well, did not want to stay in Georgia. She said she, you know, was grown now or she was able to make her own decisions and this and the third. And she didn't want to stay in Georgia no more. She wanted to spread her wings now. She wanted to come back later on when she done did all she had to do and she on a little a little slower pace you know where we very family oriented down here in the south and, and stuff of that nature but like i said i don't know honey because atlanta is booming 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 everybody and they dog want to come here they could we the new uh hollywood you know so california atlanta new york all of us entwined but i guess they want to go be culturized somewhere else for a while to see it if Atlanta really has the sticks that it say it has, the brick, I mean, the sticks, the brick to board a great foundation for family living. That's how I get it. You know what I'm saying? We ain't fake. We ain't foolery. We don't get with the fuckery or the fraudulent activity that is shitty sometimes in people's demeanor. All right. We, we don't get with that. The true natives born and raised here. You see what I'm saying? Or the ones that been here 15 plus years. They understand how we get down. We ain't got time. We ain't got time to fuss with nobody. And then when you don't really cross the line. Let's talk about it honey. We get them paws to going out the wild baby. We get tired of your shit. We ain't about the shit sometimes. And then we just have to go in and let half. Okay. Whether it be verbally or it be physical. But it be off camera. That re revolution will not be televised. Alright. But I'm just saying. You know how I get in my, my tangents, you know, my spills or whatever. But I just said, hmm, now I can get with seeing Cynthia Bailey on Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I surely can. She has the caliber. She has the connections when it comes to the fashion world and, you know, uh, entertainment. Because she's, you know, definitely Real Housewives of Atlanta have definitely put her on the map. Uh, so I can see her doing stuff now. This talk show, her and Mike were supposed to be open mic. You know, I guess he gonna put his book out there. I, I don't know. I don't plan to buy it because I I don't want. I ain't up for the shits. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not up for the shits. And for him to be dogging out two probably uh, allegedly good women because he ain't spoke anything bad of them. So um, that was of his two daughters, uh, separate daughters, uh, biological daughters, I should say. He didn't say anything nasty about 
the wives and or their mothers or anything of that nature. I don't know if he said it because he didn't say it because he didn't want to embarrass, you know, the two girls he had with him. He'll embarrass himself uh, by bringing up some fraudulent stuff on the wives, uh, past wives. But, yeah, I, I could see Cynthia just carving out a new niche for herself, coming out, knowing what she's not going to take, recognizing bad people or bad demeanor in people that you know you need to stay away get them together gone gone to show us the 50 cent side that nene has definitely been trying to play up that you have you know your alter ego so yeah give us that if you actually go on the platform of the beverly hills franchise of the um housewives honey show up and show out because i'm come telling you the little bit that i did watch of them and i used to cover them but they got boring as hell you know what i'm saying i got tired of they like you get tired of black women acting up and, and carrying on i get tired of watching white women do the same but it would be some flavor if you had black women and white women being in the same that got to trap with each other on these little trips and and, and little excursions they go on and stuff because Kim Zozette, we, we ain't gonna count her because see, she really wasn't a housewife, she was a mistress of Big Papa. And then they tried to bring her new husband, Croy, uh, on the show, and he just acted ass. We didn't want to see him. And then you know, they finally gave her her own show, and she went in la la land. But Kim didn't want to go on trips with the girls and and, and, and none of that. So I, I really can't call her a black woman, white woman. I, I, I just she not existing at this time you know i like her in in some ways and in some ways i just don't understand her like i didn't like the little thing she did with candy trying to you know uh steal and destroy and, and take 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 you know that's what's gotten us in this situation why we're into this un uh we call it civil rest we're in because unfortunately white people have definitely misappropriated their uh rights on who is the better culture who is the better race out there and, and we can't do that we just need to tear everything up set it on fire and let the ashes be and whatever the remnants are left we build a new america where everybody's focused you see what i'm saying and this is my pun intended now you, you know you can come from if you want to you might not like the end result but this is what it is i have my opinion you have yours but i'm just tired of this white black race shit you know what i'm saying we need to get it together we always that's our kids if we're forming them molding them shaping them to do right do better you know what i'm saying then we send up him 400 plus uh years still going around with this racism shit this is crazy crazy you know what i'm saying damn but anyway that's my point of 10 I, I tend to jet off in other lands and other avenues of speaking on certain subjects when i get ready you know it's just sometimes it comes to my mind i got speaking on out but I would love to see her, Ming Cynthia, leave the drama behind that she has definitely have had parts of with Marlo, uh, Kenya Moore, uh, Nene Leakes, Tanya, Portia, and um, did I miss anybody? Candy Bird, I said Candy Bird, Eva Marcel. You know, I want to see her fly and, and be her own little entity that she can claim on her own and be a hopefully maybe she will get married maybe mike ain't so bad you know what i'm saying i don't know we still putting him out there i'm still looking at him as an opportunist but i may have to bite the bullet and come back and say well damn he's a nice guy i ain't got to that point yet but him kind of telling cynthia in a nice uh a roundabout way baby ain't coming to atlanta atlanta ain't got nothing for me right now la is where it's you know it's hot uh, i'm doing some things and you have many opportunities here i would try to help open more doors for you with people that i know that you may not know that can get you you know in a certain uh environment that you need to be in so we can continue making this money but i, I don't think uh atlanta's for us right now let's come on out here try this la thing for a while maybe 10 years then we come back and we'll see what Atlanta got going on because you know the yeah, they seem to be upgrading a lot having a lot of movie sets down there where a lot of influential actors actresses are you know building a second home or that they, uh, they're initially their home down there first home in Atlanta you know we've got some artists um 
singers down there they're, they're congregating over there in atlanta but let us do this thing in in la maybe that's what he's telling cynthia and cynthia's buying into it hook line and sink i don't know but you know when you you think you got a good man you try to be a little submissive and try to lead well i wouldn't say let him lead you but you kind of be a little bit submissive and watch him you know what i'm saying he's on watch watch party right now and that's what cynthia need to be thinking about but like i said i think she you know so thirsty she think oh she got to get a man this last time because she get old and if this one don't work then she probably won't even think about getting married again hopefully she won't because i'm like whoo cynthia maybe sometime you need to just get in tune with yourself but you know like i said if you want to marry my okay but don't be like elizabeth taylor marry 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 and, 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 until you get it right because yes you can see she was mad about what seven or ten times and still didn't get shit right but it just is what it is, okay? But we won't tear it too long. We're just going to go on and get into the article. It said, uh, Cynthia Bailey addresses rumored possibility of joining Real Housewives of Atlanta. Damn, I can't get the Atlanta out. You see what I'm saying? She's so stapled in there. And maybe because that's what I cover all the time. But Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, okay? Miss Amanda Anderson Niles goes in to write Real Housewives of Atlanta. Just wrapped up another season. And as usual, now fans of the show are wondering who will return for the next rumors. Wait a minute, who will return next? Rumors have already been floating around, and some have speculated that Cynthia will be let go, okay? Others have wondered if Cynthia could move on to Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. They think this could work since Cynthia spends half of her time living in Los Angeles and her husband-to-be, with her husband-to-be, Mike Hill. Now, that's very interesting enough to project out there. Uh, if they are letting her go because they want to put her on another show, I can see that quick, fast, in a hurry, honey. Leave all these women behind in Real Housewives of Atlanta days and go embark on something new and fabulous and make it yours. Own your shit this time, Cynthia. Don't don't go over there if they give you an opportunity to join the Real House. Wise of Beverly Hills, don't go up there acting like you secondhand shit, okay? Go up there like you first class, brand bread, uh, milk and butter, honey, and you just pass down from generation to generation, okay? With a wealth of knowledge as well as money, okay? Fake it till you make it, in other words, baby, okay? They know who you are. They know where you came from, all right? They might be a little scared, but it just is what it is. Fear is good sometimes, depending on who you pressuring it on, but anyway. Um, that was my sidebar. Going back to the article, it says, Interesting enough, Cynthia opened up about this recently. As she said that she isn't necessarily opposed to being on that show. So, my sidebar, it may have already been expressed to her that there's a possibility. We're going to cut you on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. You come back when you're in town, when we're filming. You can show up and have a little tea, coffee, so, or whatever you want to do with NeNe Leakes or... Uh, who else she hang with? Uh, Kenya Moore, if you dare. You know what I'm saying? She might be mad at you for taking a, another pay raise. You know, going to a more uh, affluent, I should say, lucrative group of people. And, you know, that's what her and Nene want. But they ain't going to have Kenya over there. Her mouth is too filthy and too foul. They don't really want too much mess with Nene because it's about the same. All right? They want some class, not on trash. All right? But I ain't saying neither one of them are trashy. They just act like it. And people don't want to be of the upper crust type of environment and um, influential circle. They don't want to be bothered with all that loudness. Okay. And all that, 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 oh, the disfiguredness of a woman. You know what I'm saying? When it comes to their mouth. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, When it comes to the Real Housewives of Atlanta, fans of the show can always count on casting rumors to make rounds after every season. It was rumored that Cynthia Bailey got the boot and some said she was demoted to a friend of the show. However, it's also been said that the casting, that casting decision hasn't been made as of yet. In the meantime, some are wondering if Cynthia could switch over to the Real Housewives of the Beverly Hills. When Cynthia was asked about this possibility, she said, she didn't say, women, she didn't say it's not a possibility. She told Hip Hop Atlanta, Beverly Hills, I'm not opposed to the reality show. Is I live in Atlanta and I live in L.A. As a re reality star, if we're going to show my truth, then I'm friends with a lot of the ladies in Beverly Hill, Hills as well. I would be open 
to show in both parts of my life, my LA life and my Atlanta life. So we'll see if Bravo and Truly Original can figure that out. Okay, I'm the okay girl. Okay, girl. Nicely put, Cynthia. Touche, baby. Touche. So if they want to put you half time here in Atlanta and half time over there in LA, to me, baby, that's a full time check. Part time here, part time there. That's full time. <laughs> And you're showcasing two platforms. So, touche, bravo, marvelicioso. Oh, what's that? Wait a minute. Marvelous, marvelous-o? Shit, I can't remember. But it was marvelous. Let's put it like this. Touche, double, two snaps in a circle for my lesbian gay people. And damn, chills with the glasses, the wine glasses. Clink, 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 clink. You aced that one, Cynthia. You aced that one, girl. You done came off the fence and said, shit, I'm finna go get mine. All right. That's right. Do that shit behind closed doors. Sneak that shit up on us, Cynthia. I wasn't expecting it. I wasn't expecting it, baby. But you, hey, you done learned a lot. Silence is golden. I tell you, silence is golden, Cynthia. I ain't mad at you, baby. I ain't mad at you. Go get your other. Don't disappoint me. That's all I'm saying. Don't disappoint me. All right. But that's all I got for this video, guys. It was kind of interesting, was it not? Was it? What y'all think, family? Y'all think Cynthia is up to some good stuff? How they said she was doing some no good shady shit in Atlanta when she was talking about Nene. But who wouldn't talk about somebody that done dog them with some people that they thought would keep their damn mouth shit? Okay, you know what I'm saying? Unless they're gonna use it for collateral damage later on down the road when one of us fall out with each other. Okay, and I understand because, like I said, whatever you don't want told. You better not tell it. Keep it between you and the Lord. Keep it between you and the Lord, okay? And let it be known on Judgment Day when he pull out that big book on you. But it just is what it is. It's my uh, edification and stuff of that nature. But, family, y'all get down in the comments. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Oh, we should be a very good mate. Friendship building with Gar uh, Garcia Bouvier. Honey, I think it'll be a better match than her and Kenya. And Kenya trying to shade her every time she get. And Cynthia trying to be classy about it. Like, I didn't know she was trying to do that. Because you see how I'm changing. I'm saying Cynthia was classy enough. Not dumb, okay? Like, she was giving me dumb tease. Like, she, she didn't know what was going on. But I'm going to upgrade her since it might be a possibility. She might be going to the real house wise of Beverly Hills. So, I'm going to upgrade her and say she just wasn't here for the shits. That's what I'm going to say. Cynthia was not here for the shits. That's my new slang on other than my fake foolery fuckery fraudulent. Why y'all like that? Ain't no for the shits. Okay, that means I ain't. I, I'm going to let your statement, your comments out that Leah for a moment. Because I ain't no for it. Because I might turn something quite nasty and evil towards you. Until, I, you know, I go that way. You know, that means you don't really push me. I'm going to delete you out of my life totally. There is no combat. How many say the door is permanently closed with, uh, we call them thing, um, blocks on it. Uh, padlocks you ain't getting back in because we're gonna throw away the damn key all right and some of y'all are skating on that not my my true to form uh um uh, family members but just some that keep coming up there like that Bar bartholomew person i think her name is jane bartholomew and i told you uh don't no come for me because you wouldn't like it and i told you yesterday i wasn't here for the shits okay go away so i'm telling you now live on my platform just go away just go away because we are not going to mix up we're not kindred spirits you just want to start some trouble okay so anyway guys rest of my family members okay even the ones that we start out rough and then we become best buds <laughs> Get down to them comments, y'all. That's it. Sit there. Gonna go on and do that thing. I'm proud of her. Y'all ain't proud of her. I'm proud of her. Because I have high hopes. I have high hopes since she's trying to jump ship and go to L.A. And be there for her daughter, Noelle. Because she had no damn business sending Noelle up there in the first damn place. By herself. With Mark. I mean, Mike. Okay? So... We expect Cynthia to do better. We know she know better. So she is anchoring herself to go up there and be there with Mike for a amount of years until they get their stuff together. And then she can play that role saying, no, I followed you. I did this. I'm not happy. I want to go back home to Atlanta. And then she can say she gave it her all. And he has to bend this time or next time, I should say, since she's bending this time. 
but get down in the comments don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so share like my videos that we i put out but y'all are there to respond and enjoy the videos because just like i said it's just opinions over here we don't know if this shit's true or not but we definitely have a say if we want to say something about it can't nobody take our voice if we don't want them to okay you know, damn sure I ain't gonna let nobody take mine, all right? Unless I'm six feet under. And then I still might be talking in the other afterward. <laughs> but y'all be blessed. Y'all stay safe. And remember, no justice, no peace. And equality for every walks of life. We're all Americans. Forget all that white, black, Asian, and all them labels they throw at us. We are Americans. Let's act like them. Let's be true to form. All right? That's all I got, y'all. And I will see y'all next video.